Darren O'Driscoll, a new name to us, starts this one on pole position. Gordon Kellett alongside, then David Kidd, Graham McDonald, Darren McMullen, and Dave McGuire. All about the championship, this one, they reverse the top six from race one. O'Driscoll finds himself on pole position with Kellett alongside. Oh, contact straight away. I think that was uh, Kidd's maybe stalled or slow off the line. Watch this, David Kidd. Indeed it is, he just stops. Just, uh, not sure what happened there with David Kidd. Seems to stop all of them. Darren McMullen, nowhere to go and up over the back of him, but they're both still running as they head down into turn one. Kellett, a big challenge around the outside, but Darren O'Driscoll contains that beautifully in the GTI run car, the Kieran Murphy run car, through turn two, right over the inside curb. Great stuff from him. Doesn't get phased at all by uh, the experienced Gordon Kellett taking a run down the outside. Great to see Gordon Kellett back out, and uh, he's always good to watch. The black car there in second place, another Murray Motorsport car. Then 48, Graham McDonald next up with the distinctive cup, white car with the blue stripe. Then it's Dave Maguire, twice champion, reigning champion, looking for three in a row. But his, right behind him is Michael Cullen, his teammate, the only man that can stop him doing that on the first five now together. We're on board now with Darren O'Driscoll through the long, long right-hander. Pit exit, it says on the uh, steering wheel. If you're wondering what that is, there's a white line on the way out of the pits and you can get uh, penalised if you go out over. The back of the car drifting beautifully. Nicely set up car in the lead there and beginning to ease away just a little bit as Gordon Kellett starts to go defensive. So Michael Cullen with a bit of work to do. Barry John McHenry climbing all over the back of the uh, Murray Motorsport cars as well, the DMC car. Darren O'Driscoll down to second gear, gets it turned in, up over the inside curb. So 48, now McDonald trying to have a go, but Gordon Kellett won't have any of that. Indeed, he doesn't over to the pit wall of famous Gordon Kellett move, and there's a little bit of contact there as Kellett dives towards the pit wall. Not the first time we've seen that with Gordon. He's one of the best defenders around Mondello Park. Very hard to get by, but uh, he did, wasn't going to let number 48 up the inside that time. So Graham McDonald had no choice but to tuck in behind him. He'll have to rethink that move or get it done a bit earlier on the way out onto the main straight. Dave McGuire won't want any drama like that in front of him. He just wants to get to the finish line today. Lap five now in the leader. Still easing away. A great run from Darren O'Driscoll. Kelly in second place. Still hanging on there under the attack from McDonald And uh, Cullen perhaps a little bit closer to the Elasta car. Dave McGuire sponsored by Stanley Faulkner's Alpha Specialist Business. Elasta Autos in Dublin. Here they come now down into the long left-hander. And it's all getting a little bit crowded. And Michael Cullen almost close enough to have a go now at Dave McGuire. McGuire will be wondering, should I attack? Do I defend? But McGuire well used to winning championships. And specifically for guests ST championships. He's come up from karting through Uno's, Punto's, Abarts. Very, very experienced Dave McGuire, but really has come to form in these. Little gap down the inside. It's not quite a Michael Cullen size gap. Michael just says hello to let him know he's there. Little kiss on the back bumper. The leader, though, uh, Dave, Darren O'Driscoll, driving beautifully and just easing away from some big names here. Cullen right out to the outside. He's going to try something different here, perhaps, is he? Come down into turn one. He's very late in the brakes. He tries to get alongside Maguire. He does get alongside Maguire. The super value car sits around the outside, but can't quite get it done there. Little bit of understeer stopping that one. What he was trying to do was get around the outside and sit it out for turn two to take that place away. Denning right with him now, but he won't want to get involved. He's in the same team as these two cars in front. McHenry might want a piece of the action, and David Kidd certainly will if he gets a chance in the GTI car. Kidd and Cullen, big adversaries here in the mid-90s in Irish Saloon car racing. Cocking an inside rear wheel there is Darren O'Driscoll right out over the curb. Looks like he's taking it so easy. He's very relaxed in car here and he is still banging in those laps and beginning to get away. The name we haven't seen at the front, but I'm sure we will again. He's only driven the car a few times, Darren O'Driscoll, but uh, this really is impressive stuff. From second to about seventh place now all together as they come through Paddock Corner one more time. That's uh, Graham McDonald right out over the curbs, upsetting the car. Denning goes even further out there, cuts a bit of grass. That costs him time. Michael Cullen won't have to worry about looking in his mirrors now as he gets right into the apex. Once again, Kellett straight over to the pit wall. Doesn't want to leave any gap up the inside. And uh, that gives a better run to Graham McDonald. He's right on the back bumper of Kellett, but Kellett won't leave any gap surely down into turn one now, and he doesn't. So McDonald having to have a look around the outside, but that leaves the door open for Dave McGuire and Cullen still right with him. Cullen's car looks like it's understeering just a little bit. That's, uh, I saw it the first time there when he tried to go around the outside of Dave McGuire, but it uh, looks like he's got slightly more lock on than the rest. McHenry now under pressure from David Kidd after whatever happened to Kidd at the start would have dropped him back. Good qualifying. He was uh, he finished uh, fourth in the first race. That had him third on the grid for this one. Here's Kellett now. A little bit of the hops. The Fiesta ST hops, as they're known, they do tend to bounce just a little bit. If you go into a corner a little bit quick, and it can be quite hard. It's a bit of a knife edge to control that. And a little bit of a bounce for Gordon. Didn't cost him too much time there. Still hangs on here in second place. You see the balance on these cars. They get off the brakes and just flick them in and then stand on the power and target. Look at that inch perfect right into the apex there for our leader. Darren O'Driscoll has not put a foot wrong here on the final lap. And here he comes. This is great stuff. He'll be delighted with this, as will Kieran Murphy. 46, Darren O'Driscoll now on the final lap, up to the final corner. He surely won't make a mistake here. He hasn't made one all race. He's down to second gear, gets it turned in onto the power and heads down towards the checkered flag at Mandela Park in front of the TV cameras. So great stuff. 
for Darren O'Driscoll. Gordon Kellett's going to hang on for second place. It looks like O'Driscoll delighted with that fist in the air and he crosses the line. Then it's Kellett just about from Graham McDonald. And Maguire hangs on ahead of Cullen, Denning, McHenry and Kidd. Unfortunately, a technical issue for our winner sees him excluded from the results, handing the first win in a long time at Mandela Park to Gordon Kellett. Graham McDonald takes second, Maguire is third from Cullen, Denning and Barry John McHenry. With an appeal still outstanding, the championship results are provisional, so please check mondellopark.ie for full series results. Kellish, that's a name that I always associate with Mondello actually. So My name is somewhere around the place, you know, so yeah. yeah. It's good to be back, I thought, well, I better get back in and do something, you know. See if I can give these young lads a run for their money. So they are exactly good, did. they're very good. <laughs> How long of a stint have you come back from? Uh, about eight years. Oh, wow, yeah, so you did years. very well yeah, to come back. Too bad, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You haven't so. lost the touch. Well, I don't know. Like, I look in my mirrors, they're getting closer and closer, <laughs> and thinking I must be doing something wrong. But, you know, they're great drivers, they're young, they want to, you know, so I'm delighted for them. <laughs>